Hi guys, um, as you know, Virtual DJ 7 has now gone to 4 decks. <coughs> well, it's gone to 99 decks, but 4 decks is usable. And I, like probably many of you, don't have a controller to operate on 4 decks. So, digging around in the cupboard, came across this. I bought this months and months and months ago, a couple of years ago now. Never really used it, decided to buy Virtual DJ rather than Mixmeister. But with the advent of the 4-deck system, I thought, map it as a 4-deck controller. What I'm going to do in this first part of the video is, um, I'm just going to go through quickly <clears throat> the controls that the deck system offers for controlling Virtual DJ 7. What we have is, as you can see, there's plenty of knobs, switches and encoders, but I'm going to just explain what each one does. Right, what we have is we have various sections, you'll see my hand coming in and out. The two knobs and the button here are deck 1's effect controls, deck 2's, deck 3's, deck 4's. So those four there, those four group, they operate the effects controls, or they are the effects controls and activators for decks 1, 2, 3 and 4. The four knobs here are deck 1, 2, 3 and 4's filter controls, whilst used as they are. With this button selected, which is the shift key, it's actually called select on here, but we're using it as a shift key. If I press and hold that, <clears throat> these knobs will control the key of each of the decks. So one, two, three, and four. Down the left-hand side here, we have four identical deck control systems. Volume control, bass, middle, treble, loop in, loop out, cancel loop, and then four pre-assigned loop lengths, one, two, four, and eight. Those are replicated four times, or identical for each deck. <clears throat> what each of these does is, the volume control obviously controls the volume of the deck. It also has another function, press the shift key, it will control the gain of the deck. The LED around the outside will flash to the beat of the track that's on that deck. Except when you've selected a loop. When it's looping on that deck, the LED is solid. It's just a visual indicator that you have a loop running. Obviously with four decks, the waveforms and the rhythm panels, it can all get a bit complicated. <clears throat> when, I've just explained the loop controls a bit more, if I select a four, bar, four beat loop, the in and out controls swap from being loop in and loop out to loop half and loop double. So with a four beat loop selected using the four button, if I press the in, it'll half it to a two beat press the out, it'll double it to an 8, <clears throat> and so on and so forth. It'll just keep going either way until you run out. So if you go, you keep pressing the in, you'll go down to an 8th. If you press the out, you'll go up to 32. <clears throat> Those are all, it's an identical control system for each deck. The zoom control is also linked to the loop functions. It's an encoder, and it's it, one of the notchy encoders. I'm not, there's probably a technical term for it, but I don't know what it is. When a loop is active, and... You want to, if a loop is active on deck one, you select deck one using your deck select buttons, one, two, three, four. And then rotating this knob will move <clears throat> the loop one beat, rotating it clockwise to the right, anti clockwise, it will move it to the left. Okay, that's the loop controls. So I'll quickly talk about these five buttons here. These five buttons represent the cue points that you can assign to each deck. There's five cue points and each deck can be assigned five cue points. And as you're aware with Virtual DJ it does remember so if you draw that song back into a deck it will remember where those cue points are. To set a cue point you press the button. To activate the cue you press it again because the cue point has already been set. To delete it you press the shift key and the cue point button that you wish to delete. One, two, three, four, five. That's the cue points. The timeline scroll button, oh, sorry, knob, has been in, mapped to the crossfader of Virtual DJ, so it's a simple left and right crossfader. Pitch bend, as any other controller, bend up, bend down. <clears throat> Tempo control, on its own, rotating it on its own, has a very slight effect to the pitch, it's 0 0.02 BPMs, roughly, each movement each notch of the um, knob will actually affect it by. If you press the shift and rotate the tempo control it'll adjust the tempo in a much broader step, much bigger step. 
Pressing the tempo control, because it's not a button as well, pressing it on its own will return the track back to its original BPM gradually. Pressing the shift and then pressing down on the tempo knob will allow the track to return back to its original BPM but much, much faster. The other controls we have are the three transport controls top and bottom. Now Mixmeister uses those in two different ways. I couldn't think of a way to use them so they're grouped together. They are the same, just replicated. We have three. We mix now, stop and play, pause. Play, pause and stop. You're familiar with those and how they operate. <clears throat> it's a standard control system. The mix now, slightly different. If you press the mix now button on its own with nothing else selected, with nothing else pressed, you will, what it will do is it will start up the a deck that's on the opposite side of the crossfader. So if you're playing deck one, the crossfader's on the left. If you press the mix now and a track is, select, is loaded into deck 2, it will start deck 2 up and then move the crossfader across automatically. Okay, It's a bit of an iffy function really, but it's kind of there. The other function it has is if you press the select, or the shift key as we're calling it, and press mix now, that's the sync system. So shift mix now will sync two tracks up that you've got playing. Um, what we have then is the jog wheel. Jog wheel operates in two ways. It operates in standard mode is jog, like a vinyl, <clears throat> sorry, like CD. So when the track is playing, as you're moving, as you're rotating it, it's adjusting the tempo, okay? It's pushing it or pulling it. Pressing the shift key switches it into scratch mode, and then you can scratch. Now it's not touch sensitive, okay? I'm not a scratch DJ, so it was just it put in there. I also find scratch when it's in scratch mode, it's good for whipping through a song to find you know a particular point in a track that you want to mix in on. The five encoding knobs above are the sample slots. Sample slots one to five. One, two, three, four, five. Rotating controls the volume. Pushing activates the sample. And if you want to record in, because as you might not be aware, or you may will, hopefully you will be aware, if you've got a loop playing on a deck, so for instance we've got a four beat loop playing on deck one, if I press the, sh the select, or the shift key as we're calling it, and then press down on the sampler one knob, it will record that loop straight into that sampler slot. I can then recall that later on. In the next video I will show these controls working. <clears throat> Two knobs, at the, top, the two big knobs that we've got here are this knob is for browsing your files and folders. Okay, you press the shift key and press it down, and that selects your folders. And then once you've selected a folder, if you press the knob down itself, it'll go into file browse mode. The one on the right changes the effect in the effects slot on the deck you have selected. So for example, at the moment we've got deck, select, deck one selected. So rotating that changes the effect that's in the effects slot on deck one. Pressing it zooms the browser so you can see what's going on. You can get to all your tracks. We then have top right master volume control. So volume up and down. If you press select and turn the master volume knob it turns it into a pan control, left and right pan. The preview button, if, I, if you press that, it will play the track that is highlighted in your file browser, okay, in your song list. Not a, it doesn't play a, a deck song, it just plays whatever song you've got located in your, or highlighted in your songs list in your browser. It replicates a little button down on the bottom side of the screen. Headphone control, rotating it on its own, Headphone volume, press the shift key and then rotate it and that's the headphone mix. And then lastly the four buttons down the right hand side are decks one, two, three, four select. Now certain things depend on certain decks being active. Okay, well that's the control. Hopefully in the next video we'll show a little bit of music with it. Okay then, see you soon. Bye.